Hello out there in SNG land and welcome to this week's update. We're entering the last week of March 2013 and the real exciting news is that things are going really good for SNG. Uh, a lot of the stores are right on pace to hit their monthly team bonus so that's uh, really awesome. And baseball season officially starts in about 10 days so that's uh, exciting also. Hey, I just got a few points to go over this week, um, but actually a few of them are really important. And we're going to start with the first one, and that all the manufacturers, be it carpet, laminate, hardwood, luxury vinyl tile, vinyl, area rugs, everyone has uh, basically announced that they're raising their prices 5 to 8 percent starting basically now, the middle of March, if you will, or the end of March. So. Basically what's going to happen starting in April, Carol's going to enter the new cost, we're going to readjust the pricing and our retail price is going to go up and then we're going to actually print signs or make signs and change all the retail pricing on the floor. So for the month of April you're going to see pricing being changed probably daily or weekly as we're able to make the new signs and roll them out. So uh, be patient with us. Uh, again, it's 5 to 8 percent across the board on everything. And obviously the price of gas is up, but I think it's more indicative that the economy is getting a little bit more robust and things are looking a little bit better, so the manufacturers are taking this opportunity to raise prices to try to make a little bit, uh, a little bit more money, if you will. But um, what are you going to do? You know, they're the manufacturers, they're making it, and you got to pay the price if you want to get the material. So, uh, so again, look for all our retail pricing to go up about the same, five or eight uh, percent across the board. Okay. Also, for the month of April, uh, we're going to run the no sales tax promotion right back, and the reason why is because Carol won't have enough time to make all the new retail signs along with making all new sales signs. It just we just couldn't do it. So, uh, unfortunately, we'll run the same promotion right back. Now. The good thing about that, if you're uh, opportunistic, you can use this last week of March to call all your customers and say, one, that the no sales tax ends on March 30th, and two, that if they buy this month, they're going to save probably 5 to 8 percent versus waiting because of the price increase. And again, it's industry-wide. Everybody's getting it. Uh, Roger's already tried to renegotiate or you know, try to work the guys to hold the pricing, and they're just not doing it. It's, it's going through for everybody. So, you know, but like I say, if you mention it to your customers, it might help you close some of those orders of people that are on the fence wanting to save that extra money. Okay? Uh, next thing. Uh, the new employee handbook went out last week. Uh, I'm sure you all probably just signed for it. Hopefully, you'll get a few minutes and read through it. Uh, in particular, page 18, and, and that's the uh, page that has the paid time off, or PTO as we call it. And also, it has the uh, paid holiday schedule for 2013. So, uh, as a reminder, we are closed March 31st, uh, Easter Sunday, and that is a paid holiday. So, if you look at your, uh, your PTO hours that you're accruing now, uh, compared to the handbook, you'll actually see it kind of increased a little bit. And also, uh, Easter is a new p official paid holiday for S&G. Okay? Uh, what else do we have going? Cash move. Everybody's favorite scheduling system. Uh, Cashmu is a huge company. They do scheduling for all kinds of different uh, companies and all kinds of different businesses. Uh, we love our Cashmu, and the good news is that actually we purchased some more logins. So uh, each store, I believe, got at least one more login. So it should make it easier to get in there and do your scheduling of estimates and jobs. Now I'm going to ask you, and actually not ask you, but this is a rule, you can't be using other stores logins to get in. Everybody should have enough logins to, to sign in and work under their own store branch. Now I know a lot of the salespeople or managers like to work or toggle between two screens. So they'll have cash move minimized even though they're in it and they'll be working in Rollmaster. You know, it's not fair to take another store's login if you're doing that. So work within your store, go around, see if somebody's got it, you know, minimized or they're on it on a screen, but there should be plenty of logins throughout the company for your individual store. So good news there. Make your life a little bit easier, hopefully. Uh, next thing, Costco. Okay, We're all excited about getting the Costco program. Costco is going to bring S&G a lot of business. That's the good news. The bad news is if you're on the retail side, meaning you're working in a store, you do not want to mention the word Costco ever 
at the front counter in the store never never in front of a customer you never want to tell anybody that we're doing work for Costco and the reason being is if any customer goes to Costco and fills out the form or calls your 800 number or gets uh, is interested in buying carpeting or flooring or laminate through Costco it automatically becomes a Costco lead which means that the Costco division of S&G will be selling them okay if it's a Costco customer it can never be written up through the store you can never get your commission so I know some people are going to shop both through Costco and through S&G and when that happens or we find out about it you know they're going to be purchasing through the Costco side of things but we would never never want to mention to a customer oh yeah we're doing Costco's work you know like it's a big deal kind of like patting ourselves on the back what's going to happen is they're going to say hey if I go through Costco can I get a cheaper price and you're going to say well no well the customer is then going to go call Costco and they become a Costco lead and you won't get any commission or get the credit for the sale trust me it's already happened in Rockland okay I was there and we were talking off to the side and you know we we're talking about the Costco program the lady's like oh you do work with Costco I'm a Costco member how much can I save a couple days later we get the, the the email from Costco same customer contacted Costco through their uh, website and then we're, she wants a bid from S&G on the Costco side of things so never 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 mention Costco inside the store it can only hurt you it cannot help you I can't stress that enough never 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 mention Costco inside the store okay hopefully you, you understand why we're proud of it we're excited about the program but if you're an in-store salesperson Costco is kind of like that, you know, to the side and you just don't want to mention it, okay? Uh, final thing I want to talk about are complimentary proposals or estimates, okay? First thing, we made a big hype about it uh, probably a couple years ago, year and a half ago, of why we itemize our bids, okay? Why we, we itemize and we have this long, and everything's printed out, this long sheet of paper. And basically, just a re refresher, or if you're new, we itemize our bids so that the customer can hold us accountable. We want the customer knowing what they're paying for, what we're going to do, and what service we're providing. A lot of stores don't do that. Okay, They just give them a total price on the back of a business card or on a piece of paper, a total price to do the whole job, and the customer doesn't know what they're paying for. They don't know if the wood base is included. They don't know how much the floor prep is. And a lot of stores do that deliberately so that they can charge add-ons. Okay? At S&G, we itemize our bids because we want to be held accountable. And if they're getting a bid from someone who's not giving them an itemized bid, they're hiding something. I can guarantee it. Okay? Happens every day in construction, remodel work, um, you know, um, um, yard work, any of that stuff. Okay? Itemized bids are the only way to go so that the customer knows what they're paying for. We're one of the few companies that do it. We're proud to do it. We don't hide anything. We're not intimidated by anybody. So use that in your favor, that the, that the estimator will be out there, and he's going to give you an itemized bid so you know exactly what you're paying for and what you're getting with S&G. And most stores don't do that. Okay? Again, we want to be held accountable. If someone doesn't give you an itemized bid, chances are they're hiding something, or they don't want to be held accountable. Okay? So that's one thing about estimates. Part number two of this is talking with the estimators up here in Sacramento. They told me two things. One, if you have a selection written down. And two, if you have a price range on that selection written down, there is a extremely, I was going to say, a 60 to 70% chance that they're going to bring back a check. I wouldn't... I don't want to put a percentage, but there is an extremely, extremely good chance that they're going to bring back a check. Okay? What that means is you've asked those 19 qualifying questions. You've talked about the budget. You found the right product for them. The customer took the samples with them. The estimator's going out measures, and the, and the product is within that range, that ballpark range that you've given them. They're ready to buy. You know, Mrs. Jones comes in picks a product, she takes it home, she likes the product, the color works, she's already confirmed it or talked to her husband or spouse about it. This is going to be, for this carpet, it's going to be, you know, approximately $3,300 to do these four rooms. 
Um, you know, what do you think? The husband says, hey, honey, if you're happy, I'm happy. Our estimator goes out, measures. He comes in at 3,200 or 3,400 or, you know, 3,000, somewhere in the ballpark. It's a slam dunk, okay? The consumer has already gotten permission from the spouse. They've already come to grips that how much it's going to cost, and they're ready to buy, okay? There's nothing like people, when they get excited, they find the right product, it's in their budget, they are ready to buy now. You know, that's kind of how we are nowadays. We want the instant gratification, it's called. So, if you do your job, you've qualified, you've asked the 19 qualifying questions, you got a budget range in there for the, for the uh, estimator to work with and for the consumer that knows, and you've narrowed down to one or two products, no reason that the job will not close on site. Okay, so it's all about qualifying using those 19 questions. So, uh, guys, uh, almost out of time. I appreciate you watching the videos. Happy Easter to everybody. Again, we're closed next Sunday. Uh, thanks for the hard work. Let's finish March on a real high note. Use that law of scarcity, okay, meaning that the low prices are going to be expiring at the end of the month. And let's have a bang up last month so you guys can all hit your uh, team bonuses. And just have a great day off uh, Sunday knowing that next paycheck you'll have some extra dollars to spend. So uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Thanks for the hard work, everybody. I'll see you around the stores. Bye-bye.